Minister, how many frontline response ambulances do we have in the country? How many supervisory officers do we have in the ambulance care that have not been rostered in the community? How many calls per week or per month do the supervisor officers make or attend? I am calling for a full review of the service like the Garda Division. There needs to be a frontline medical section and a clerical section. Training of a paramedic and advanced paramedic is quite specialised. So why does the National Ambulance Service expect paramedics to perform clerical duties and run budgets? I understand that paramedics are being used in test centres. How can this happen when we have a short in the ambulance service, ambulance staff and paramedics save lives? Surely less ambulance cars and more ambulances. I think a service agreement for the staff is so important. But in light of the ambulance service, I believe a turnaround for a call of 90 seconds. Why is this not being applicable to a journey response and time to get to the patient? This also needs to be monitoring. Unbelievable to hear that an ambulance from Cork servicing Kerry, from Limerick servicing Tipperary and Cork and Kerry, when a patient centre. Minister, we look at this holistically and, and 90 seconds response time for an ambulance. That, oh, that's brilliant. But we're an hour and 45 minutes away to get to you. That's crazy. I've seen ambulance paramedics going to an accident and they've been told to go an hour and a half away and they're an hour into the journey and they've been turned around to go back again to their station because another ambulance can get there sooner. It should be ambulance service for each individual county and cover for areas that need it. This 90 seconds um, setting an ambulance out is absolutely nuts. We need to make sure we have the problem round of ambulances and if we have to get rid of the ambulance cars and put in more ambulances, that's what we need to do.